we're going to be implementing the jobs scheduler into an Android app and we'll be using the Firebase Job Dispatcher. What the Job Dispatcher is for Firebase is pretty much after API level 21, it's going to be using the job scheduler and everything what the job scheduler does and it's be and below that API level 20 and down it's going to be using the alarm manager and everything what the job scheduler does out of the box so you don't have to have two code bases for different um for different API levels you just have to have one with that one library so the first thing go to get go to github and go to the Firebase GitHub, um, Firebase is owned by Google, and then go to the Firebase Job Dispatcher for Android, and copy this compile to your build.gradle. And I already have it added in my build.gradle right down here. And now the first thing you need to do is to create a, a, um, a service. I'm going to create a service right now. I'm going to call it my job service. And we're going to call it yeah, my job service. Extending job service. Now, here's where it's different from the regular um, from the regular um, my job scheduler. We have to use the Firebase one. So the com that firebase job dispatcher don't use the regular app job one um it won't work okay now we just alt enter and implement those other methods in there And now just to test this um, to see if it um, just works, this is in a video on services. We're just doing the job scheduler. So I will just put in a print line that says job started and return false and return false. Now we're going to go into the manifest and we're going to add in our our intent filter in our service. Right below our activity, we're going to create a, our service, which is which is still in the application. I still get this wrong sometimes. I still sometimes um, I don't pay attention. I put it outside of the activity. You always want your services inside of your activity. So service name now that's the our service that we just created job service and now we need exported if you don't put the exported as false this will not work um this is just how android works you need the exported to work with other apps we need the intent filter now here is where i am looking on a on my other screen to get this right because it doesn't pop up sometimes um, so you need com dot firebase dot job structure dot action execute that will not pop up in your um as a hint in there you have to put it manually in there which is a little pain but I guess you have to do it it's a trade-off now to create our dispatcher first we have to create our dispatcher um, and then our job so to create our dispatcher we need the artist dispatcher now this is what dispatches our jobs um, this isn't one single job this will control every single job so if we have three or four jobs We'll have three or four jobs and we'll have one dispatcher. We'll go play a driver and then the context. Now 
and then context, application context. Now we need to create the job. Now with Firebase Job Dispatcher, it is required for the, the device to have Google Play. So you can't put this on a Kindle tablet or a different operating system that doesn't have Google Play. I don't know why you wouldn't have Google Play in your operating system if it's Android, but you need Google Play to use this library. So if you're going to be um, saying this off onto a device without Google Play, which I don't know why, um, this is one factor to have into it. You create a job now with the dispatcher. The, the dispatcher creates jobs. New job builder now. We're just going to create a simple uh, job first. So set service. And this is our class, such as my service, my, um, uh, my job class, I mean. And now we have to set a tag. Put it as my tag and build. Very simple, um, very simple way of creating a service. Now we're just going to run those, run all the jobs at once. A schedule job. This pretty much just runs that job, that one single job. So again, what we did here is we created a dispatcher, which a dispatcher controls each individual job. So you can have many jobs, one dispatcher. We created one job with the service class of my service, my job service. Um, which will run this, run the code when it stops and it starts. Now, where's my log cat? Okay, now it worked, job started. So we have our job started. We can also put in constraints into here. Now constraints are, you know, if you want the job to only run when it's plugged in, for example, or when it's um, when it has network, so you would do dot set constraints. And you would have constraint dot. Then you can have a whole bunch of them. You could have when it's charging on unmetered network, which pretty much just means that it's on Wi-Fi, on any network. By default, a job will run whenever. So it will run if it's on a network, if it's not on a network. So be careful, um, you can put on any network. So if it's on Wi-Fi, if it's on antenna, you know, 3G or 4G, 2G, whatever. Um, you can put it as unmetered, so only on Wi-Fi, you can put it as only when it's charging. Um, and you can do a lot of other constraints with that. And that's the Firebase Job Dispatcher with the Job Scheduler.